Creating and using layers is a great way of changing your model without destroying what's going on underneath. So you can do iterations. For example, with this clown that we've been working on, I can paint a whole set of makeup and then just switch it back on and off and blur it in between. And then with the, the nose that you can see, I can go back to the original size or inflate the nose. So let's take a look how we do that on a basic sphere and then we'll come back and have a look at the, the clown face. As always, it's best to start with a very basic explanation of the tools that we're going to use. So this is going to be just about layers and we're going to firstly just focus on the sculpting part. So let's just use the move tool over here on the left. We've got symmetry switched on over here on the right. And now I'm just going to, with a larger brush, I'm just going to move it into the shape of a head. So nothing, nothing amazing at all. Just literally I'm rotating around. This would be the chin. This would be the forehead. Okay, so let's just start with something like clay and we're going to add a nose. So if we want to go up to layers, add layer, you can name it if you need to, but basically you've got quite a few settings here. So you've got on and off. Obviously we're layer one and on. You can rename it here. So we're going to call it nose. Delete it is the next button. Uh, copy it, so you can copy and paste it if you want to do a slight change to it. Um, they're all the ones that you're going to need for now. So if we're on the layer, and we're now going to do any kind of change, and it will be reflected. So we're on clay, remember. So let's just draw a nose in the middle. And I'll smooth it down. There we go. It's as simple as that. Now, I might want to do another one. And we'll call this one add layer. So we're on another layer. We're going to rename it. I'm going to call this one brows. So this is your eyebrows, and I'm going to do a very simple eyebrows. So make sure you're back on the clay. And there's the eyebrows, and I'm smoothing it down. So it doesn't get any more simple than that, but it's a great way to show you. So now go back to the layers and each one that you click on. So for example, this one, the nose, if I slide it down, it disappears. Click on the brows, slide it down, it disappears. Click on it, slide it back, click on it, slide it back. So the eye will turn it on and off, or either of them on and off. And you can literally turn everything off, slide it all the way down and go back to the base. So we'll turn them off altogether. And that's as simple as you need for, for your basic layering. So let's have a look at painting now. So we're back on the base layer. Go to painting here on the left. We'll make a new layer, add a layer. We'll rename it and we'll just call it paint because we are keeping it super simple. Paint. We'll go over to the paint down here on the bottom right. We'll just choose something ridiculous like bright blue. And we'll go that size of brush and we'll just paint something on here. So it's going to be above the forehead here. The reason that looks a bit like it's got a grain in it is because down here at the bottom, you can set the different brushes and you can add your own, which is a whole nother video. Uh, so I'll just paint this one here and then another color. We'll just go green again. I'm not trying to do anything other than show you the tools. And there you go. So what does that look like? So you can now see it fading in and out and then mixing it with the with the other ones. There you go. So that's that's in the simple terms. That's how you use layering. Um, it's in some ways it's similar to something like Photoshop. And in other ways, it's not because of the complexity of it. So and you have to be careful because one of the things with this kind of um, layering and animation system, it's not animation, but it's basically what we call blend shapes or pose morphs is the, 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 the vertices or the points underneath just move from one place to another. So what you can't do is um, move uh, an ear and rotate it on the way so you can't make it wiggle in the way that you would want all the points would either be where they were or where they're going so just bear that in mind it's not an all-encompassing solution it's just a way 
to um, adjust your mesh into different shapes with a control. So let's move on now and let's have a look at the clown head in doing exactly the same as we've done here, but we'll just do, we'll make him maybe do a big smile or lift his eyebrows up or something like that. So let's go back to the clown face. And at the start of the video, we started to look at doing things like inflating the nose to give it the clown nose. Um, so switch that one off, turn the eye off. Uh, let's have a look at the makeup, which is the other one, which is a, again, it's a slider. And this is pretty normal in most 3D programs that, that can make blend shapes or morph targets or morphs. So, but this is quite, obviously this is quite revolutionary because it's on the iPad, which is what's amazing. So let's make another one. Um, so we'll turn that everything off. So we're back to the default head. And let's go to, we're on the base. Let's just get, make sure we're on the right one. So we'll add a layer. So it's the button at the top to add a layer. And now we're going to do some sculpting about, let's just do, let's make him surprised, for example. So I'm going to pick the move tool. So it's up here on the left. Going to be a slightly larger brush. And then I'm just going to, without moving his eye too much, because I want the surprise to be in his forehead, I'm just going to pull it up. I've not done it symmetrically, deliberately. I want it separate. Now, one thing that you will notice um, is that it's just moving the geometry and the paint's coming with it. There is a setting up here that you must be careful. If you have this on, so stroke enabled, what's going to happen when you pull it is this. So you're going to affect the painting like this. So just bear that in mind uh, and make sure that you go up here to the top into stroke and then turn that off or you will destroy your work. So let's carry on. Just surprise him a bit. And what I'll actually do is I'll pull his mouth back a bit. I can't affect his teeth. I should mask it really. But just for, for now and for speed, I'll just do it without that. I'm pulling it up, it's going to pull and stretch all of this uh, bad skin here. So he's got nice surprised eyes. And he's got almost like a joker-like smile up the side here. So a little bit too much there on the, on the eye, so I'm going to bring that down. There we go. So let's see what that does when we use the layer. So go back to layer. And now we can just slide it. So look at that. That gives us, I mean, it's quite creepy on the mouth, isn't it? Let's just slide it up and down from a different angle. There you go. And you've obviously got all of the other ones that you can play with as well at the same time now. So you can now mix and match all of your different poses. So it's a great way of just trying, if you want to try a bigger nose, if you want to try a different expression. Um, there's lots of different ways to, to use this, but it's, it's well worth having an experiment. So remember, you've got the paint and the sculpting. If you're enjoying this kind of content and it's helping you to, to develop your skills, then uh, give a video a thumbs up for us and subscribe to the channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we upload on a Wednesday and a Friday. And if there's anything that you want us to look at uh, showing or any kind of technology that you think is something that we can uh, show you and, and maybe kind of give you some kind of a help and guidance with then drop it into the comments below and we'll see if we can uh, if we can help you with that so have a great week everyone and see you soon